What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, for clicking this video, for showing up today, for just hopefully watching this video. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Carly Simon with her song You're So Vain off of her album No Secrets released in 1972. So recently we had listened to two tracks from Miss Simon and consistently I've seen this track pop up as one that I should listen to. So I just figured, you know, why not take the time today and sit back and relax with Miss Simon. For myself, it's Sunday. Uh, it's 3.06 right now and it is just one of those Sundays that like I, I mean, I've done a lot, actually. I woke up like at 6.30 and I, I did a lot in the morning, but it's in that mid-morning phase where it, I just lazy out. <laughs> so I need, I'm like trying to get my, myself back into a working mindset, like working, not like work, but like, I don't know, I want to be more productive for the rest of the day. So this is kind of my first step into productivity and I'm happy to do, the, to do that with Carly Simon. So let's get into the music. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm sure I will as well. You can join me on Twitter in the comments down below. Let's do it. This is Carly Simon with Your So Vain. Who is the subject of this song? Who hurt Carly? Who hurt her? I feel sorry for them. Oh, she, she is sounding beautifully spiteful. Like you can feel the the emotion the feeling in her voice when she's singing this song oh yeah ooh <laughs> let's talk about the song first because I, I, first of all actually before I like get into it get into it uh, I've heard the chorus before and I think that I've heard this song before I'm pretty sure I've heard this song in passing I definitely recognize the chorus so I'll this will be like not a first listen you know so just to get that out the way I did recognize the chorus um, but geez. It sounds so much better now that I've sat down and listened to it. Um, man, where to start? Gorgeous singing. I love the way that she sings. It's so direct. It's so clear. Um, it is beautiful. I love her voice. And, and you can hear like those relaxing tones in her voice. And yet at the same time in this particular track, oh, they're biting. <laughs> right? She is strong, strong willed. I love that. Uh, the guitar playing I thought was fantastic. Some of the leads and the solos there, gorgeous. The drumming was also a standout in my opinion uh, throughout this one. Let's see who's uh, who's on here actually really quick. Uh, so Carly Simon is doing the vocals of course and the piano and the string arrangement, which I did like how the strings picked up in the third chorus, I think it was. It's the last chorus of the song. Uh, Jimmy Ryan on the guitar. Jimmy Ryan did like, I really enjoyed his guitar playing. And as mentioned, the drums, Jim Gordon, and uh, percussion we have from Richard Perry, which you hear a little bit uh, more so in the end of the song. I'd have to listen to it again to really capture most of it. But this was a really, really solid song. And by solid, I mean like this was a really good song. Not just solid. Solid, solid is like an average word. This was, <laughs> this was better than average, you know? Like similarity to Joni Mitchell, but, and I've mentioned it, I think, when we listened to her last song's Anticipation, um, that she does have a style of her own and she's not as wordy and I don't mean that as a negative against Joni but like she's not as wordy but the words she uses count you know like you know how like when, when you're in school and you had a, had to write an essay and they said you got to write a I don't know 500 word essay and you were just trying to like add in words in there just to fill it so you got to that that you know 500 word count here no no, no Carly's not worried about that Every word that she speaks and sings means something, especially in this song, which we got to research who was on the receiving end of this song, you know? <laughs> we got to look that up. We're going to have to read some history on this one. Boris blazing a, a trail of fire. <laughs> like, and we as the listeners are left in the ashes. And as I mentioned, whoever's the subject of this song, let's actually read up on that, uh, is also left <laughs> in, the, in the ashes. Um, I'm reading on Wikipedia. And it just says, the song is a critical profile of a self-absorbed lover about whom Simon asserts you're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. The title subject's identity has long been a matter of speculation, with Simon stating that the song refers to three men, only one whom she's named publicly. Actor Warren Beatty. Never heard of him. What movies is he in? Actor Warren Beatty. 
let's look at his acting career and see if I recognize any of them. Bonnie and Clyde, never seen it, but I've heard great things about it. Um, all the other ones I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing I've seen. Even though well, they capture the emotion that Carly is obviously displaying, the drums are always there on time on beat to uh, play along with that rhythm of her vocal tirade, as I will call it. This is a great, great track. This is stunning. I would like to read a little bit more on the history of this track. I'm sure there's, I feel like there's a, there's probably a little bit more to it though. I'm just reading a little bit of the history on Wikipedia. And I think it's so funny that like she's given out clues as to who the exact subject is. Uh, like people have even bidded to get like the names of, <laughs> of like one of the people who she's referenced. Uh, apparently like they, they bid and they paid $50,000. Uh, Dick Ebersol, president of NBC Sports. Uh, but he couldn't reveal the name. I think that like, it is so funny, like how there's this this hunt to find out who is this song about. <laughs> Just as I am, because like I said, whoever it is, you know, they're on ooh, they're on the firing squad for this one. Uh, let's look into the lyrics though and read those. Uh, if I can get to the top, I like how the intro is just son of a gun. <laughs> like, like, mm, that's how you started off. You walked into the party like you were walking onto a yacht. Your hat strategically dipped below one eye. Your scarf, it was apricot. You had one eye in the mirror as you watched yourself go vote. Uh, I don't know what go vote means, but already we're getting the picture of a narcissistic person walking onto the party like, like you're the light of the party, the life of the party. Your hat strategically dipped you know, below one eye. Like, you know, when you're wearing your hat kind of cool, I can't, I'm putting my hat on top, I can't do it. But you know, like, <laughs> like you, you wear your hat like, like a cool guy, right? Like you wear your hat like that. Um, one eye in the mirror, I'm assuming that one eye is like on the people, one eye is like always looking at himself, making sure he's, you know, looks cool and everything. And he says, all the girls dream that they'd be your partner, they'd be your partner. Of course, she's saying, you're so vain, you think this song is about you. I bet you think that this song is about you, don't you? And yet, she's writing a song about him. <laughs> or at least three people. But I like how even with that chorus, She's not directly telling us who the song subject is. She revealed one, but she's not directly telling us. So those other two unnamed people, they're wondering, is this song about me? I don't know. I like that little mind game she's playing. You had me several years ago. I was naive. You said we made such a pretty pair. I would never leave. But you gave away the things you loved, and one of them was me. I think just that line is, is hitting. She says, well, you're where you should be all the time, and when you're not, you're with some underworld spy or the wife of a close friend. Wife of a close friend. Oh my god. Before Instagram, before, before social media, this is how you put the dirty laundry out there. You put it to song, you put your heart into it, you press the red button, you record, and you put it all out there. Woo, Carly, you started me up on a Sunday. That's awesome. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you thought of the track. Join me on Twitter in the comments down below. You can support the channel on Patreon. I hope that you enjoyed the music. Hope that you enjoyed your stay here the last few minutes. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Have a good night or morning or day, whichever it is.